Let me show you how we can create fillable forms in Microsoft Word. So here I am in my document. A form is a just a regular document where you type in your questions and let the space for answers. So this one is a sample document. I didn't do any changes to it yet. As you can see, I keep my questions and answer space in the table. I like to do it this way. All right, so I got five questions and I want users to type answers here on the right. I could send this document out, but I don't have any like designated space that we can click and select the answers. And also my users can modify questions as well. So how can we make it even better? How can you make uh, fillable spots here on the right? And how can we protect the text on the left? To do that, we will need additional ribbon for developer. By default, it's hidden, so I will need to head to properties of my word, then search for ribbon and toolbar section in your properties. And on the right side, you can see which ribbons are on. And as you can see, one is missing. That's the developer one. I will turn it on and click save. So from now on, we got the extra developer section here at the top. And in this section, we will be able to create kind of boxes for the form. So let's say I click here in the answer section and I want to add a text box for my users to type something in. So I click here, text form field. And here it is, you may recognize this gray color. That's the default text. For the next question, I want the user to rate my content or experience on one to five. So what we can do is a drop down menu. And then we can give options for this menu. All right, and now our user will be able to select here from one to five. The next one is rather similar. We got a profession to choose from. Let's do it a bit differently. Let's do it with a checkbox. So you can select more than one answer. All right, so in this case, we got those gray checkboxes and you can kind of check them all if you need. Then again, we got describe, so I add a text box. And the final one is for the text box. Those gray text boxes are kind of looking empty, so we can actually click on options for them as well and put some default text in. So this way we can have a text in so it will be easier to spot for our users that they should type the answer here. All right, almost done. Now we just need to protect our form, protect our questions on the left so nobody can change them. So let's click protect form at the top. All right, so now we are allowing editing only of those gray out parts that we prepare for fill the form. All right, let's back to home. Let's try to type something here in the question side. Doesn't work. I tapping on my keyboard, nothing's happening. Perfect. Now let's try to type something here in the answer side. Yes, it's working. How about this one? We can choose from one to five. Perfect. Can I use my checkboxes? Yes, I can. And here we can type the text again, we can type the text again. So that's a nice form made in Microsoft Word without any coding or programming. Simply need to activate developer tab and then you can insert different fields to your form. Don't forget to protect your form as well. So nobody can change any text except these gray areas that you prepare for your users. I hope this short tutorial was helpful. See you in the next one.